and welcome to yet another 100% budget-free installment of Archive Riffs. Well, gang, I have a bit of a confession to make here. Despite it being a very deep part of Archive lore, there's one bit of the Max Headroom incident, remember that, that I have never bothered to explore. And that would be the ultra low budget cartoon Clutch Cargo, which aired in syndication from 1959 to 1960 and in reruns in some places probably as late as the late 70s. Now, as best as I can gather, there were 260 four-minute installments of this show designed for each five-day chunk, Monday through Friday, to be its own story. And, yeah, it's basically a knockoff of all those old movie serials like Flash Gordon and stuff like that. But, of course, what everybody remembers about Clutch Cargo would be have to be the lipstick. Unholy amounts of lipstick. Jeez, you could drive railroad spikes with that jaw. Clutch with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot. Or the two things that kept Ben out of the military. You remember last time, Clutch and company and the two professors had set out in Professor Knockworth's first unsuccessful rocket. The professor was building it as they flew. That might be why it's unsuccessful. Just about to hit Big X when... Hey, Professor Knockworth, pour on the coals. We've got a hot comet on our tail. Yeah, sure, Clutch, right away. And quit playing with that hydraulic system. Any idea of what's making that thing chase us, Professor? Yes, I do have a theory. I figure Big X is attracted by the ionized particles in our slipstream. I was a terrible science student, but if that's the case, why was the comet heading to the moon in the first place? If that's the case, we're in luck. Huh? If that thing is so intent on following us, we'll just pull up and keep it from crashing the moon. Hell, if it's so easily distracted, you could just dangle some keys in front of it. Hold on to your hats, everybody. Here goes. Oh, we're being chased by the Pikes Peak gift shop. Let's just hope the string holds! We saved the moon, Clutch, but, but Big X is still getting closer and closer! So you still see the X? We'll try to outrun it, Spinner. It is so embarrassing when you're getting chased through space by a moldy ball of lint. Bleepy bloopy sounds. Gee, Clutch, I think we've outrun the comet, but now I think we're gonna hit the studio ceiling! Little known fact, that comet went on to do all those Mucinex commercials years later. Jeez, I'd hate to see rocket number two. Well, Clutch Boy, looks like you did it again. We're keeping ahead. That's what the rocket said. Looks like we're going to outrun it. I thought we were goners for a minute. <sighs> According to my calculations, the further away we get from that comet, the less likely it is to catch up with us. Deja vu. <laughs> Well, for starters, your hands are glued to your head. Worst. What's wrong? Quick clutch, throttle back. The rocket boilers are about to blow. You mean the rocket is wood fueled? A wood rocket of. Oh, jeez. Oh, but if we slow down, Big X will get us. Or a set piece from a Fleischer Brothers cartoon will get you. One or the other. Clutch! Clutch, 
Bert, it's catching up with us again. Well, we better do something quick. Old Betsy's rocket boilers are going to burst. If Big X is attracted to the ionized particles in our slipstream, doesn't it make sense if we cut the engines, it'll stop following us? Well, yeah. Deja vu. And maybe no. It really hasn't been proven scientifically as yet. Better do something quick, Clutch. Oh, no, not again. Yeah, I agree. 33 installments of this rocket comet thing is kind of pushing it. Exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Graphic design by Ace Hardware. Well, he looks awfully happy about being decapitated. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Battlefoot. Yeah, pals, prisoners. It's all semantics. You remember last time? Unfortunately, I do remember. Flying into space in a huge rocket ship were attracting Big X by the ionized particles in their slipstream. Don't you just hate it when that happens? Something quick, Clutch! Right. And the cubic zirconia spinning budget just ran out. Dude, it's not gonna crash us! Wonderful, Spinner. We lucked out. Deja vu. Oh, Clutch. First off, I want to take a closer look at that thing. Break out the spacesuit, Spinner. Right, Clutch. And go fix your lipstick while you're at it. It's disgraceful. With the air compressors. Right, Clutch. Oh, quit riding its jet trails. Okay, Spinner. All set. Open the space hatch. Hey. Yeah, that's about the speed my camcorder goes at. Damn it, there goes my collection of paper dolls. Hey Clutch, do you think we should have stayed tethered to the rocket? Ugh, this thing's even hairier than I thought it would be. Say, Spinner, did you hear that? Golly, I'll say, it made music when we touched down. Well, I think we know why they call him Clutch Cargo now. Thanks, cartoon. Hey, Professor, listen to this. What do you think it is? He's a toy piano, silly. Clutch, my boy, we've stumbled across the greatest find of the century. That, yes, there is sound in outer space. Respect, Clutch. The rarest thing in space. Yeah, yeah, go on. It's composed of pure Nickelodeon. No! Nickelodeon? What's that? About five cents a song. Musical metals. Its crystal structure enables it to vibrate in perfect harmonics. And Nipper is getting ready to sue. Let's hook her on and tow it back to Earth with us. Yeah, yeah, Clutch. It will be the pride and the joy of the Space Museum. The gift shop, anyway. At 30 bucks an ounce. So Clutch just happened to have a couple miles of rope in his... cargo? All set, Professor. We'll tow her in using the auxiliary air compressor jets. Yeah, yeah, just the thing! And they're communicating telepathically now. So let me get this straight. The comet that kept following you even after powering down the rocket is now being towed via a rocket that is now emitting exhaust again. Sure, why not? Good old Earth again. Rip. And while I'm at it, living room furniture and curtains on a rocket. I stole CBS. No, that's not it. What was it again? <laughs> Thanks so much, Clutch and Spinner. You not only helped us save the moon... Oh, judging by the size of that comet, I think the moon would have been just fine. Lucky! Paddlefoot is up on top of Big X! <laughs> and Paddlefoot finally surrenders to the madness. And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Big X. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo. Well, you're going to be waiting a mighty long time, because this was the last episode. Clutch Cargo did not get picked up for a second year. I know, astounding, right? Sure.
clutch right away. 